Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'll be comparing the newly released Dyson Corral with my current styler, the GHD Platinum Plus. The Dyson Corral is quite expensive and to hopefully justify that purchase, it does however have a built-in battery and can be cordless. So we'll dive in to see if all the features the Dyson Corral has is worth it. Just like my other comparison video, I will be matching both stylers based on price, specs, features, and most importantly, performance. I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of each straightener and you guys decide which one you like best. So let's get on with the review. I've been a huge fan of Dyson products ever since the Air app came out and I still use this up to this date. I got my hands on this shortly after it was released and when I saw that the Dyson Corral came out recently, I was excited to get my hands on it. And now that I finally have it, I'm eager to finally use it. Well, I've had it for several days already, so I've been able to use it a lot since. The Dyson Corral came out only a month ago and it comes in two different colors. I got the black nickel fuchsia color which is the standard Dyson color scheme because it's much harder to get the purple black colors. On the other hand, my JHD Platinum Plus has been out for almost two years now and even though I only got it recently, after I did my last comparison video, this has become my new favorite. I am so impressed with this, it will definitely be hard to beat. As well, this also comes in two different colors which is a simple white or a plain black. Price wise, the Dyson Corral is worth a crazy 650 Canadian dollars, a very costly device. For that price, you can buy two GHD Platinum Pluses and you can basically buy one for yourself and give away the other one. And these are two elite stylers that so you can do the exact same thing, which is to straighten your hair. So is the price difference worth it? Well, let's look at how they differ first. The Dyson Corral weighs over a pound, which is 1.23 pounds to be exact, while the JHD weighs in at only 400 grams. I don't like the weight of the Dyson, it's a bit on the heavy side, so it gets noticeably heavier and heavier with prolonged use. The reason why the Dyson is much heavier is because of its built-in battery and probably the reason why it costs twice as much. The best thing about the Dyson is that you can use it cord-free for almost 30 minutes, which I must say is very impressive. I don't know if any other styler have that feature but regardless that is the single best reason I had to get this. So let's quickly go over Dyson's heat settings. It has three heat settings that go from 330 degrees Fahrenheit to 365 and all the way up to 410 degrees Fahrenheit. It has three buttons, one for power and the other two for increasing and decreasing the temperature. There's a safety lock here which has a satisfying tactile feel as you push it back and forth into place. On the other hand, the GHD Platinum Plus has just one button to turn it on and off. The heat temperature is permanently fixed to 360 65 degrees Fahrenheit, which is activated when turned on. Both stylers are simple to use, but the GHD simplifies it further by having less, which I do like. Also, what I noticed was that the GHD has a slight gap as you clamp it together, so the plates don't touch. I found it odd at first until I did some research and apparently the gap is there so it glides on better and it doesn't pull and tug your hair. I guess that does make sense, but for my OCD-ness, it's not perfect unless it lines up perfectly. But really, it doesn't bother me at all because this thing works like a charm. The Dyson Corral, on the other hand, also has that gap, but if you clamp it slightly harder, then the gap closes to have a nice flush look. What's also interesting about the Dyson is that it has flexing plates that can contour to the shape of your hair being straightened. The design is also to prevent excessive pulling and tugging. It's not easy to see when you're straightening your hair, but when it's off and I press it here like this, you'll see how it adapts to the shape. I must say I do like that design factor. Now, time to test these bad boys out. For this side-by-side -side comparison, I'll be using the Dyson iron on the left side of my hair and on the other side, I'll be using the JHD Platinum Plus. I'll try to do a single pass in each section to really figure out which one is better in terms of performance. I also posted a video review of the JHD Platinum Plus versus the Bioionic 10X, so if you want to see those results, check that out in the link below. Okay, I'll be setting the Dyson Corral to 365 degrees Fahrenheit, which is similar to JHD's fixed settings. And with the Dyson, I'll be using the straightener without the cord just to see if the battery does last for 30 minutes before it dies down. So let's get started. From standby to ready, it takes 28 seconds for the Dyson to heat up while the GHD took 20 seconds. What's nice about the Dyson is the packaging. It comes with thermal wraps that doubles as a carrying case and the magnetic cord base is tangle free which is the same cord used to attach to the charging dock. Also don't forget Dyson has a 2 year warranty and you need to register your device first in their website to activate the warranty. An important thing to note is to make sure your Dyson hair straightener is fully charged before use. 
It usually takes 70 minutes to fully charge the battery. One thing I find ridiculous about this device is that if it's not close to being fully charged, then it won't turn on. I'm not sure if my device is faulty, but that really shouldn't be the case. What's frustrating is that if my battery dies and I have to plug it in, I still can't operate it until it's almost fully charged. In my opinion, it takes away from the convenience of having a battery operated styler. Having the cord is supposed to give you that hassle-free, continuous styling, and if the battery dies while you're still styling your hair, then you'll have to wait until it's fully charged. This is definitely not ideal when you're in a rush, and if you're like me, you'll be waiting around for a while if you have lots of hair to work with. So I've tried this before, and I maxed it out to 410 degrees Fahrenheit. The battery died down on me after 20 minutes, so I'm guessing that depending on the heat settings that you choose, then you can max it out to 30 minutes. Okay, so it took me a total of 20 minutes and 15 seconds to style my hair using the Dyson Corral and 14 minutes and 8 seconds using the JHD Platinum Plus. In terms of speed, it's an obvious win for JHD in this arena. So now, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison on each side. With just one pass on each side, I would say that the JHD performed well. My hair is a lot more softer and smoother on the JHD side and I could already see a lot of frizz on the Dyson Corral side. The differences are very minute, but anyways, I'll check in again after a couple of hours to test out Dyson staying power. So time check, it's 5.56 p.m. and I'll be right back with you shortly. All right, I'm back. It's already 11.41 p.m. and it's been six hours since I started the whole process, so it's been a long day. What's important is to find out how these straighteners hold up during the day. Okay, final thoughts. My hair is soft on both sides, which is not a shocker, but if you look at the GHD side, it's still pretty much the same. However, on the Dyson side, it didn't stay straight for a long period of time, which is the most important thing that I'm looking for in a straightener. Maybe Dyson Corral will be perfect for short, fine hair, but for my thick hair type, it's definitely not ideal. There are three heat settings with the Dyson, so perhaps it's all about dialing in your hair type to the right setting. But at medium heat settings, it doesn't seem to work for me. I really wanted to like this, but it just feels like I blow dried my hair without having that super straightening effect. Aside from performance, the battery could be much better. I don't like how it quickly dies and that I have to wait for it to fully charge before I can use it again. For this video, the battery lasted for more than 20 minutes, which is set at medium heat settings. But when I tried it a couple days ago with the highest heat setting, which is at 410 degrees Fahrenheit, the battery only lasted for about 19 minutes. Styling wise, Dyson performed just as good as my JHD, and if you compare it side by side, there's really not a big difference when it comes to the results. I'm definitely sad to see this go and having to return it, but hopefully they'll come out with a better battery life in the future. But as for now, the Dyson Corral is not for me. That's it guys, that's my honest review of the Dyson Corral and how it compared to JHD's Platinum Plus. Again, this is not a sponsored review and everything I have mentioned in this video is based on my personal experience with the device. I hope I was able to explain and show you guys everything that you need to know about the Dyson Corral if you're planning on buying it. If you already have one of these straighteners and have had similar or even different results, tell me about it in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you guys and you already know what to do. If you like this video, show some love by giving me a big thumbs up. As well, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be updated when I upload new videos. And lastly, follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Alright, see you guys soon. Bye. ever since the air app came out and I still and I still use this okay, one, two, three, go. because it's much harder to get the purple the purple black colors the Dyson Corral is quite expensive so again one two three go